Service Teardown HP Zan 66 Pro 14 G3 Notebook PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Remove the 7P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Note, the two screws on the bottom edge are shorter than the other screws. Carefully detach the base enclosure from the top cover clips. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement. Place the base enclosure on the top cover and align it to its securing clips. Press down firmly to reattach the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the 7P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Note, the two screws on the bottom edge are shorter than the other screws. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Grasp the battery and lift up from the connector side to an angle of 30 degrees. Then pull the battery away gently to release it from the securing tabs on the edge of the top cover. Remove the battery. Replacement Tow the battery into the tabs at the edge of the top cover and then lay it onto its alignment pins. Push down firmly on the connector to reconnect it to its socket on the system board. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. How to replace the memory module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Note, if there is a strip of mylar covering the memory module, Hold it back out of the way while you remove the memory module. Push out the retention clips on each side of the memory module at the same time and allow the module to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the module gently at its edges and remove. Note, the second memory module, if installed, is removed in the same manner. Replacement Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the memory module into its slot on the system board. Press the module down until its retention clips snap into place, securing the module to the system board. Note, the second memory module, if installed, is replaced in the same manner. How to replace the M.2 solid-state drive. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the P0 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the M.2 solid state drive by its edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the M.2 solid state drive with the key in the drive slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the M.2 solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Press the M.2 solid state drive down and continue to hold it down while replacing the P0 Phillips head screw that secures it to the system board. How to replace the hard disk drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the hard disk drive cable from the system board 
and unroute it from its routing channel beside the drive. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hard disk drive to the top cover. Grasp the Mylar tab on top of the hard disk drive assembly to lift it off of its alignment pins and remove it. While holding the hard disk drive assembly firmly, grasp the hard disk drive cable connector and tug it out of the drive. Remove the two P1 Phillips head retaining screws from one side of the hard disk drive assembly that secure it to the hard disk drive. Remove the two P1 Phillips head retaining screws from the other side of the hard disk drive assembly that secure it to the hard disk drive. Remove the hard disk drive assembly. Remove the hard disk drive. Replacement. Align the hard disk drive assembly with both sides of the new hard disk drive. Replace the two P1 Phillips head retaining screws on one side of the hard disk drive assembly that secures it to the hard disk drive. Replace the two P1 Phillips head retaining screws on the other side of the hard disk drive assembly that secure it to the hard disk drive. Connect the hard disk drive connector cable to the drive. Place the hard disk drive assembly onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hard disk drive assembly to the top cover. Route the hard disk drive cable into its routing channel beside the drive and connect it to the system board. How to replace the SD card reader. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the tape that secures the SD card reader ribbon cable to the corner of the system board. Push up the locking bar on the ZIF connector of the SD card reader ribbon cable and disconnect the ribbon cable from the system board. Gently lift the SD card reader ribbon cable to detach it from the adhesive, securing it to the top cover. Detach the RTC battery from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the SD card reader to the top cover. Lift the SD card reader off of its alignment pins and remove with the RTC battery still attached. Replacement Note, if you are installing a new SD card reader, disconnect the SD card reader ribbon cable and RTC battery from the old SD card reader and connect them to the new SD card reader. Place the SD card reader onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the SD card reader to the top cover. Sit the RTC battery into its cradle and press down firmly to adhere it to the top cover. Connect the SD card ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the system board. Press on the SD card ribbon cable to reattach the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Push down the strip of tape that secures the SD card reader to the corner of the system board. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and SD card reader. Removal. Take the removed SD card reader board and turn it over. While holding the SD card reader board down firmly, Grasp the RTC battery cable and disconnect it from the SD card reader board. Replacement. Hold the SD card reader board face down with the RTC battery connector showing. 
Insert the RTC battery cable into its connector on the SD card reader board. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the touchpad. Detach the transparent protective shielding on the touchpad and set aside for later replacement. Peel back the two strips of tape that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Remove the six P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Lift up the touchpad and remove. Replacement. Place the touchpad over its alignment pins and cutouts on the top cover. Replace the six P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Push down the strips of tape that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Place the protective shielding into position on the touchpad and press down firmly along it to secure it to the touchpad. Connect the touchpad ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the touchpad. How to replace the fingerprint reader. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and hard disk drive, if installed. Removal. Disconnect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the fingerprint reader. Note, if the notebook is configured without a hard disk drive, remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Slightly lift up the plastic lip at the bottom of the fingerprint reader bracket, and then slide the fingerprint reader bracket out of its cradle and slot on the top cover. Lift up the fingerprint reader bracket and remove. Grasp the fingerprint reader and remove. Replacement. Place the fingerprint reader over its cutout on the top cover. Place the fingerprint reader bracket over the fingerprint reader and carefully slide the fingerprint reader bracket into its slot and onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Note, if the notebook is configured without a hard drive, replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Connect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable to the fingerprint reader. How to replace the USB-C bracket. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB-C bracket to the top cover. Lift up the USB-C bracket and remove it. Replacement. Place the USB-C bracket into position over the USB-C port. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB-C bracket to the top cover. How to replace the RJ45 bracket. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and USB-C bracket. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the RJ45 bracket to the top cover. Grasp the RJ45 bracket and rotate it upwards slightly to unhook it from the edge of the top cover before lifting it away. Replacement. Place the RJ45 bracket into its position on the top cover and system board. 
replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the RJ45 bracket to the top cover. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from their connectors on the wireless LAN module. Remove the P00 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Press and hold the wireless LAN module down and replace the P00 Phillips head screw that secures it to the system board. Connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to their connectors on the wireless LAN module. How to replace the speaker. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from the system board and remove it from its routing channel beside the left speaker. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module and remove them from their routing channel beside the right speaker. Note, if the notebook is configured with a wireless WAN module, you need to disconnect its antenna cables from the wireless WAN module and then remove them from their routing channel beside the right speaker. Disconnect the speaker cable from the system board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws, one on either side of the speaker that secure the speaker to the top cover. Lift the speaker off of its alignment pins and remove. Replacement. Place the speaker on its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speaker to the top cover. Connect the speaker cable to the system board. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables into their routing channel beside the right speaker. and connect them to the wireless LAN module. Note, if the notebook is configured with a wireless WAN module, route the antenna cables into their routing channel beside the right speaker and connect them to the wireless WAN module. Route the display panel cable into its routing channel beside the left speaker. and connect it to the system board. How to replace the fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Note, if there is a strip of tape covering the fan and heat sink, peel it off of the fan and leave attached to the heat sink for later replacement. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the top cover. Lift the fan off of its alignment pins and remove.
Replacement. Place the fan on its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the top cover. Connect the fan cable to the system board. How to replace the heat sink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and fan. Removal. Loosen the six captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board in the numerical order indicated. Note, if the notebook is a UMA configuration, you need to loosen the four screws from the heat sink in the numerical order indicated. Grasp both ends of the heat sink, lift up and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Use alcohol in a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off of the heat sink and processor. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Place the heat sink over the screw wells on the system board. Tighten the six captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board in the numerical order indicated. Note, if the notebook is a UMA configuration, you need to tighten the four screws on the heat sink in the numerical order indicated. How to replace the USB board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, fan, and heat sink. Removal. Disconnect the power button ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the USB board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Carefully lift the USB board up, off of its alignment pins, and out of its cutout on the top cover. Replacement. Place the USB board over its alignment pins and push it gently into its cutout on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Connect the power button ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the USB board. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, memory modules, RJ45 bracket, USB-C bracket, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module if installed, fan and heat sink. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Disconnect the following cables from the system board. Hard disk drive cable. Fingerprint reader cable, if installed. Backlight cable. Touchpad cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Keyboard cable. Display panel cable. Speaker cable. DC in power connector cable. Remove the power button ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the USB board. Remove the one P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Remove the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the system board off of its alignment pins and remove. Replacement. Note. If you're installing a new system board, remove the power button ribbon cable from the old system board and connect it to the underside of the new system board. Holding the system board at an angle, tow it into the cutouts on the top cover and then lay it down onto its alignment pins. Caution: To avoid damage, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover.
Replace the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Replace the one P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Connect the power button ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the USB board. Connect the following cables to the system board. DC in power connector cable. Speaker cable. Display panel cable. Keyboard cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Touchpad cable. Backlight cable. Fingerprint reader cable, if installed. Hard disk drive cable. How to replace the power connector cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module and remove from their routing channel beside the right hinge. Note, if the notebook is configured with a wireless WAN module, disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless WAN module and remove them from their routing channel beside the right speaker. Disconnect the power connector cable from the system board. Remove the two T9 Torx screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Pull the right hinge upright. Lift up the power connector from its cradle in the top cover. Replacement. Place the connector in the cradle on the top cover. Push the right hinge closed. Replace the two T9 Torx screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Connect the power connector cable to the system board. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables into their routing channel beside the right speaker. And connect them to the wireless LAN module. Note, if the notebook is configured with a wireless WAN module, route the antenna cables into their routing channel beside the right speaker and connect them to the wireless WAN module. How to replace the top cover. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from its ZIF connector on the system board. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel beside the left speaker. Remove the two T9 Torx screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Pull the left hinge upright. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Remove the wireless LAN antenna cables from the routing channel beside the right speaker. Note, if the notebook is configured with wireless WAN, Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless WAN module and remove them from their routing channel beside the right speaker. Remove the two T9 Torx screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Pull the right hinge upright. Remove the top cover from the display panel assembly. Replacement. Important. When installing a new top cover, remove the components attached to the old top cover and install on the new top cover. Place the top cover into position on the display panel assembly. 
push the right hinge down until it's closed. Replace the two T9 Torx screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables along the routing channel beside the right hinge. Connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Note, if the notebook is configured with wireless WAN, route the antenna cables into their routing channel beside the right speaker and connect them to the wireless WAN module. Push the left hinge down until it's closed. Replace the two T9 Torx screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Route the display panel cable along the routing channel beside the left speaker. Connect the display panel cable to its ZIF connector on the system board. How to replace the display panel assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and top cover. Removal. Remove the display panel assembly. Replacement. Place the display panel assembly down with the display panel facing upwards. How to replace the camera privacy shutter. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, and display panel assembly. Removal. Using a flat bladed tool, carefully remove the camera privacy shutter. Replacement. Place the camera privacy shutter into its cradle on the display bezel. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, and display panel assembly. Removal. Separate the display bezel from the display enclosure using your fingernails or flat-edged non-marring tool. Starting at the top, around the sides, and then at the bottom. Carefully unclip the hinge cover from the display enclosure. Lift the display bezel off of the display enclosure and remove it. Replacement. Align the hinge cover with the hinges and place the display bezel into position on the display enclosure. Press down firmly along the edges until the hinge cover and display bezel are fully attached to the display enclosure. How to replace the webcam. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, display panel assembly, and display bezel. Removal. Peel up the tape securing the right webcam cable to the webcam module. Then disconnect the webcam cable from the webcam module. Remove the right webcam cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Peel up the tape that secures the left webcam cable to the webcam module. Then disconnect the webcam cable from the webcam module. Using a flat bladed tool, carefully pry the webcam up from the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure. Lift the webcam off of its alignment pins and remove it. Replacement. Place the webcam onto its alignment pins and gently apply pressure to adhere it to the display enclosure. Connect the left webcam cable to the webcam module and press down firmly on the tape that secures it to the webcam connector. Route the webcam cable along the routing channel that secures it to the display enclosure. Connect the right webcam cable to the webcam module and press down firmly on the tape that secures it to the webcam connector. How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, display panel assembly, and display bezel. 
Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable for later replacement. Remove the display panel cable from its routing channel on the display enclosure. Using a pair of tweezers, take firm hold of the tab of the stretch release tape at the bottom of the panel, grasping the tape and then rolling the tape around the tweezers. Caution! If you break the tape, it will be very difficult to remove the panel. Carefully pull the stretch release tape from the bottom of the panel as horizontally as possible, continuing to roll the tape around the tweezers until the tape clears the display panel assembly. Note. The tape on the other side of the bottom of the panel is removed in the same manner. Lift the display panel and place it face down, parallel to the display enclosure, taking care not to tear the cables. Peel away the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Lift up the locking bar and disconnect the display panel cable from the display panel. Grasp the edges of the display panel and remove. Replacement. Place new strips of stretch release tape on the display enclosure. Note. Refer to the service guide for the position of the tape strips. Place the display panel face down parallel to the bottom of the display enclosure. Connect the display panel cable to the display panel. Reattach the fabric adhesive over the display panel connector. Carefully lift up and position the display panel over the display enclosure, starting at the top left corner. Lay the panel into the display panel assembly and press it down onto the new strips of stretch release tape. Route the display panel cable into its routing channel on the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable for later replacement. Lift up the tape that secures the right webcam cable to the webcam module. Then disconnect the webcam cable from the webcam module. Remove the right webcam cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Lift up the tape that secures the left webcam cable to the webcam module. Then disconnect the webcam cable from the webcam module. Peel the display panel cable up from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the display panel cable. Replacement. Place the display panel cable over its markings on the display enclosure and press down along its length to adhere it to the display enclosure. Connect the left webcam cable to the webcam module, then press down firmly on the tape that secures it to the webcam connector. Route the webcam cable along the routing channel that secures it to the display enclosure. Connect the right webcam cable to the webcam module, then press down firmly on the tape that secures it to the webcam connector. How to replace the hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, top cover, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the wireless LAN cables from their routing channel underneath the right hinge.
remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the right display panel hinge off of the alignment pins on the display enclosure and remove. The left display panel hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement Place the right display panel hinge into position on the display enclosure. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Route the wireless LAN cables into the routing channel underneath the right hinge. The left display panel hinge is replaced in the same manner. 